Hey everybody, in this week's P5JS tutorial, we are going to be looking at clicking on shapes to make the shapes trigger some sort of sound and also animation. Last time we did this, we were looking at how to do it with rectangles, so creating uh, certain compound conditional statements where if the mouse is inside all the sides of the rectangle that it would trigger some sort of action. Today we're going to look at how to do that with circles, and this requires a slightly different method because circles don't really have sides, it's just one round space, so we need to take a look at how we're going to do that. It's not very difficult uh, and it's going to introduce us to actually a new function as well. So to start us out, I'm going to make my circle here, make my ellipse, but I'm going to be making variables for all the circle parameters. So I'm going to start out with CX as a variable. That's going to be the X position. I'm going to do CY. Uh, that's going to be the Y position. Actually, I'll make this 200. I'm going to put it right in the center. And then I'm going to do C size at 100 okay uh, you can call these whatever you want again these are related to this uh, ellipse I'm about to make so CX CY and then C size so it's gonna be a circle at 200 X 200 Y and then a 100 pixels in its size all right so there is my circle there all right, so what I want to do is that when the mouse is inside of this circle, I want to click the mouse and have something happen, but only if I'm inside there, okay? So since I'm going to be doing this with a mouse press, I'm going to make function mouse pressed as a function here, okay? So when I click the mouse, something will happen. All right, so the way I basically need to do that is I'm gonna be thinking about the center point of my circle, okay? So figure from the center point of my circle to any point uh, on the outside of the circle is gonna be half of the size, okay? So if I'm here, all right, and the circle from here to here is 100, if I'm thinking about the distance from the circle to any one point, around the circle, it's gonna be half of the size. So right here, the size is 100. So from the, the center of the circle to any point on the outside of the circle is gonna be 50. It's gonna be half of that size because the size of the circle is from here to here, okay? So uh, I would need to basically calculate, okay, the mouse is at this X point and this Y point. How far is that uh, from this point? Is it more than half the size or is it less, okay? and that's uh, seemingly could be a difficult task mathematically, but luckily there's a function built into P5 that can do this for us, okay? So uh, I'm gonna make a variable called D, okay? And I'm gonna use something called the distance function, and it's really D-I-S-T, dist, okay? So the distance function takes four variables. It is basically going to give you the uh, the distance between any two points on your canvas. And every point on our canvas has an X position and a Y position. So you could say, what's the distance between this X position uh, and Y position, and then maybe this X position, Y position. And the disk function will give you uh, that number. So what I'm gonna do is the one position I'm concerned about is the mouse. Oop, make sure that goes in the parentheses. Okay, so mouse X and mouse Y. That is the first point okay so wherever the mouse is at and then since I want to see okay what's the distance from the mouse to the center of my circle my other two parameters are going to be CX and CY okay and let's just before I do anything I'm gonna do a quick console dot log here and just log D so whenever I click the mouse it's gonna tell me exactly how far I am from the mouse to the circle here, the center of the circle. Okay, so I click and I am 80 away roughly from there. If I go further out, I am 250 pixels away from the center. If I go right near the center, I am only two pixels away from the center. So I'm right about at the center. So now let's start going around. Let's look. Okay, if I start clicking at any point around the circle here, okay, I'm keep, you see, I'm getting these numbers. Are right around 50 okay so just to again kind of prove that point that 
any point on the outside of the circle is going to be half the distance of the circle or half the size of the circle from the center okay and that's the important number here all right so now let's use this and make it so that only when I click inside the circle will it do something and we can actually let's use this console.log for a second so if all right D so if the distance between mouse X and mouse Y in the center of the circle is less than we said half of the size of our circle so I'm just going to do C size divided by 2 here okay and then I'm going to just console.log so now if I'm clicking outside of the circle I'm not going to see this number only when I'm inside of the circle will I see that okay so I'm going to start over again I'm clicking outside the circle nothing's happening but suddenly I go inside the circle and you see a number comes up I'm inside the circle inside the circle now I'm outside the circle and nothing happens okay so this is basically how we can now do this all right so just using this distance function find the distance from mouse X mouse Y and the uh, X and Y center of your circle there and if that distance the variable here we store it in is less than half the size of the circle then you are inside of the circle and can then start triggering things to happen okay so in the next video we'll set up some sounds that we can trigger and then some animations to go with those sounds